Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to Invento where I need to see if I can figure this out. So... Hmm... We've got... These here so we can make stuff green or yellow or salmon, I guess. Um, so I guess it's really the placement of the rice that I need to worry about, right? Because like, we can totally make the tuna green there, so if I put this here, say, we can absolutely make the tuna green. The final rice needs to be in this corner. Oh, but that covers that. So I'm thinking we need to put this down after we've put this here. And then these two need to be the same. So let's see. make that into pineapple do I just put this here because see now we've got these and these and these all lined up I just gotta make that green and that's oh okay tuna so the rice isn't the only thing I need to worry about let's restart I gotta get the tuna here. So, with that in mind... I guess this goes here. And then what I wanna do is, I want another pineapple here, another green here. So it kind of looks like this is going like this. And then... This would um, kind of ruin everything. So I just, I need to put that down first. So this goes here, and then this goes here, and then this goes here. And now we do the thing. And we'll start with um, this. And then we do this and then this. And that's that. Okay, so we need the rice like that and this like that. We can move something to the side and then we can grab a couple of things. Does that mean that we put this down first and then we just make room for the rice? No. Or does it? Do we put the rice down first? And then we just kind of create holes for the uh, It is what we do, isn't it? So let's see, we can move two to Right and then we just grab these. And voila! What? Oh! We need to put these into... I did not think of that. We have it solved, but we have extra stuff here, so that won't do. Alright. 
So rice down here first. Grab that. Put it here. Um. How do I? I can't put them anywhere so that's not the thing to do do I want to move stuff first no how does this even work because I need to put it back into the box somehow and then I can move something down as well or up like it it doesn't have to be in this direction ah uh, goodness so what if I do that and then I grab no that would create a situation that I can't solve This is clearly what you do last, isn't it? But how do I make it so that it leaves the exact kind of... to consult the walkthrough here just to see how you actually begin this I'm pretty sure you put the rice down first and then you try to get it into a situation like that but how exactly do you do that? Yeah, I'll take a look in the walkthrough because um, <laughs> I'm just not getting this. So it kind of appears that you actually have to put the sam not salmon, the tuna down first. And that's why I couldn't solve it, because I was going about it all wrong. And then, uh, these need to remain tuna. And this needs to be tuna as well. 
But here's the thing. I can grab something. So this and this and this all need to be rice. So I'll just create like a T shape here to put the rice into. And then I'll put some tuna in. Yeah, yeah, this will work because I can move. I was like, wait, I can't grab that corner, but I totally can. Like this. And then I put the rice here. And uh, extra tuna there. And this tuna here. And that did it. So that was cool. Okay, over here. We can move a couple of things up. We can do the rice thing and we can switch positions for a couple of things. Do not need to be in this corner and the rice in this corner and then those in the middle. The uh, salmon or whatever you'd call it. Um, so I can move stuff. in some direction. We've got rice, tuna, salmon. But I need to remember that I can move stuff. Rice, salmon, tuna is something that we do want in the middle here. Also, we want the same thing this way here. So yeah, switching the, the salmon and the tuna there could be a thing. And then this way I would get the salmon up there. And in the middle here. Although that's kind of not where I need it. salmon down here. I've got this I can use to move something. Hmm. 
Hmm. Am I going to need to consult the walkthrough again? I may just need to do that. Because this... I can't figure out how to start this. I'm going to check the first couple of steps from the walkthrough. Okay, so in the walkthrough, what they did was they started by putting this here. Which kind of makes sense because the tuna and the salmon are in the correct place here. And we've got this rice tile here that can uh, fill something with rice. So we don't necessarily need... it there and then the second thing they did was put this here so from here how do we proceed well i mean obviously we we put the other salmon into place right but then we need to create the um, perfect area to fill with rice here. The tuna and the salmon are already in place. We've got this and this that we can do stuff with. We need the tuna here. Oh, do we just... We do. And then do this. Alright. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we just need tuna and rice here. And we've got some pretty complex things we can do. And I need to remember that the uh, filling of, um, of an area, it doesn't work diagonally. So I can't just, you know, make the uh, greens into tuna and the salmon into rice as they are here. That doesn't work. So how do I <laughs> get this to be like this? Uh, using these things here. Honestly, I'm kind of at a loss. Like, very much so. Because not only do we need to m make the um, make it happen so that enough tiles get covered with rice, and then with the um, tuna, but we also need to make this kind of chest board pattern happen as well. So how? I mean, that's um, four tiles that we can cover. That'd make it so that we can cover the entire like, this will make it so that we can have tuna and rice here, but... Can I make it from this into the chessboard kind of thing? I mean, obviously... That does a thing. 
then I need this to be rice and this to be tuna. So I need to switch these around. Which... This needs to be tuna. Yeah, that's not how to do it. Mm. But I mean, I, I think I had the right kind of idea that you use these things that you can switch tiles around with to create the areas so we need one area that can be filled with rice and then two that can be filled with tuna and then once we've done that we use these to um, move things so that we can then create this kind of a pattern So, are we doing this? Or was this wrong? I have no idea. But like, this is one way to create that kind of an area. Hang on. So, I don't know. I'm going to try this and then if I can't figure this out, I'll just have to consult the walkthrough. But like, obviously this can do something here. And then... Is it, do we just take these and switch this around? No, 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 no. There's way more tiles than that that need to be switched. How can I do this? I'll take a look at the walkthrough. Okay, so what they did in the walkthrough was they made like a T area here in the middle and let's see if I can actually do this now so we need to know here and here So clearly we need to grab two tuna. Do we also grab two rice? We do, right? We grab these, right? Because they need to be tunas. And then where do we get the two tuna from? Here. And then we just put the tuna here and the rice here. And that did it. I think if I'm correct here, this should be the last level in the game. We need everything covered in rice. 
this may be another one where I need to consult the walkthrough. It's, it's looking kind of complicated. But what I'm gathering from this here is that we need to... So we've got three different things in the box here. Now we've got the greens, the tuna and the salmon. And instead of three things, we need two things that are like in um mm, in like how do i put it in in areas that they aren't spread around everywhere like this but that they are in like distinct areas that we can then cover with the rice so how do i go about doing that I can switch some things around, move something down. I need a little help here as to how to even start figuring this out. I'm going to consult the walkthrough once again, see two of the uh, first moves that we need to make and then see if I can figure it out from there. Okay, so what they did in the walkthrough was um, they copied the tuna down here like this first thing and then they switched these here. So clearly what they uh, started to go for in there was uh, a tuna area and a greens area. Let's see if I can make that happen. So greens on this side and tuna on this side. So obviously this needs to happen. But then how do I get rid of these two? I can move something and then I can copy something. Do I want to cop? No, I don't want to copy the green, do I? At least not like that. Like this, it wouldn't make much... I mean, it would cover the salmon there. And then I can move something. If I'm switching these two, I need to get rid of the salmon and I need the tuna to go here. How do I make the tuna to go here? Do I? I can copy something. Am I going to need to look at the walkthrough again? If I switch these around... Yeah, that doesn't solve the tuna issue. Maybe this is going to be the last thing I do, but I need a tuna here. This 
this would make way too much tuna. I don't need it in both of those places. Don't need it in either of those places, actually. This would copy it up there. Oh, that's a good point as well. I don't really need two um, areas of equal size here. I just need a green area and a tuna area. So, even like switching these two and then copying the tuna. Let's see, can I copy, can I make these two into tuna? I can move something. I can make that one into tuna. This one, I mean. Or that one. Oh, what if I move this here? That still leaves the problem of this. If I move the... Oh, what if I move this? Yeah, that'd make that into tuna and that'll leave a hole there. And then what? I could make those into tuna, but that's not what I want. And then I can switch something around. Hmm, why can't I figure this out? If I could make that into a tuna, then I'd switch the these around. But that'd still leave a hole here, and I don't want to leave any holes. Yeah, I'd need that to be... I mean, I can do this. And then... No, that's not what I want, because that'd put this into a place where I don't want it to be. No, that's not what I need to do here. Am I seriously going to have to look at the walkthrough again to figure this out? I mean, clearly, we need to move something before we do the copying, because by copying something, we can fill the hole that we create by moving something. And uh, this is the thing that we can do the copying with. I'm a reasonably intelligent person, I think I should be able to figure this out. Uh, for the sake of the let's play, I'm going to check the next step from the walkthrough, because I could be at this for a while, and 
that just wouldn't be nice for you to watch. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so the next step in the walkthrough is to move this down here. Um, okay, <laughs> I think I finally got it. Right? And now you just do this. Did it. Aw, nice. They're spending some quality winter time together. And that's that. Okay. So this was very cute and pretty satisfying to play as well. I mean, obviously some of the levels were too easy. Like, you know, the, the ones that you started out with were just... You were just clicking um, for the sake of like getting through. But uh, then some were super satisfying to solve as well. And then some were a bit too frustrating for me too, so... Um, I don't know. All in all, I did have a good time with this game. And I hope you also had a good time watching. <laughs> um, I'll be getting into something else in this time slot next time. So I think that'll be on Saturday. So, yeah, see you then uh, with uh, a new puzzle game of some sort. But for now, thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.